Why are you shooting bodies? Hey guys, it's Daisy. So for today's video, a lot of you guys wanted me to play some more Modern Warfare and I decided today I'm just going to do some regular gameplay, probably play some free-for-all matches and show you guys some of my favorite weapons that I use and also the attachments on the guns and the perks and all that. So yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. Please leave a thumbs up and let's get started. So the first weapon that I normally love to use is obviously the MP5. The reason I say obviously is because if you play this game, you'll see a lot of people use the MP5. It's like one of the best guns or submachine guns in the game. So why not use a gun that everyone else uses? Because if you don't, like, there's obviously other guns you could use, but since this is like one of the best, like, why not just have the same advantage as everyone else? So I use the MP5 a lot and for my, and for my attachments on this gun, um, for my perk, I have sleight of hand. The reason I have this is because normally if you frag out with this gun, um, you tend to run out of bullets a lot, so you have to reload. And when you're in the heat of the moment and there's a lot of people around you, you want to reload faster. So what this does is basically just reload faster for you. And then for uh, rear grip, I have the rubberized grip tape. And what this does is help your recoil. And for me, the most important thing on any gun attachment, for me, is <laughs> recoil and accuracy so for any gun that i use the perks that i mainly want to use are anything that's going to help with either or for me i feel like the merc 4 grip is the best for any type of gun i'm using and then for barrel i have the monolithic suppressor and i don't have any stock for this gun and that's about it i don't really use pistols unless i run out of ammo for my gun and then for my perks they all differ depending on the game modes but for this class specifically i have an eod as my perk one which is just for like c4s claymores um grenades just makes you take less damage from explosives perk two i have ghosts for almost every single class ghost makes you untraceable by uavs and radars and heartbeat sensors so for perk three i have tune up now what tune up is is basically Basically, it recharges your field upgrade faster. So for my field upgrade, I have Dead Silence because I play a lot of search and it's really useful. So this just makes me have Dead Silence a lot faster. And then for my second favorite gun, uh, probably the P90 is my second. Now for my P90 class, the attachments I have, for the muzzle, I have Muzzle Break for stock, FSS Heavy Stock Pro, I have my perk for frangible wounding, and then Under Barrel Stippled Grip Tape, again, helps with accuracy, range, control, and that is about it for those attachments. For this gun, again, I never change the pistols on my guns. I don't play this game as often as people think. I barely play this game. I only do it every now and then, so I don't even know what good pistols uh, to use in this game are, so I just never change this. Um, perk again, EOD. And for perk 2, I have high alert, which basically just alerts you. Like on your screen, you'll see like a little yellow highlight around your screen that'll let you know when an enemy is nearby you. And then again, tune up for faster dead silence for me. Lethal claymore and then flash grenade. Another gun that I really, really like is the MP7, obviously. This one, I don't have anything unlocked really. Oh, actually I do now, but I don't have any attachments on this one yet. So I have to fix that. And I do use ARs. People think I only use SMGs. Like, I love SMGs, obviously, but my favorite AR, obviously, is the M4. It's probably one of the best ARs to use in Modern Warfare. And I'll use this map normally on, like, bigger maps or, like, long-range situations. I'll, I like this gun. And for like smaller maps and close range i like using the m13 which is an assault rifle but it feels like an smg at times so this is like my second favorite uh ar and for my attachments on this one i have muzzle brake uh tempest mini so what this does is it kind of helps with movement it makes you move a little faster so that's why it feels more like a smg for me when i use this gun under barrel merc foregrip i said i i use merc foregrip for like every single gun oh and for lmg this is my favorite lmg to use i've been using this so much um it is the pkm 
And for my attachments, I'm not even sure if any of these attachments are good. So let me know if you've played this game a lot, if I should like change something around. Because like I said, I don't really play Modern Warfare that often. But I have Merc foregrip on this one. I have, uh, for my rear grip, I have stippled grip tape. I have a reflex sight, like a red dot. For stock, I have Forge Tax Stalker. As for field upgrade, again, I have Dead Silence because I play a lot of search. And I would also like Trophy System, but mainly Dead Silence is like really, really good. So, so with that, we're just gonna try to get in a free for all game and see how we do. Win or lose, you know, it doesn't really matter. Obviously, I post my best games on YouTube, but not every game is a win for me. And I'm not saying like I'm amazing at this game or, you know, I'm like the best player or any of that. But sometimes, you know, I have my games where I do really, really well and like I'm proud of myself and then other games, you know, you win and lose some. There's nothing wrong with that. Everyone wins and loses games. So... Just keep in mind that if you're trying to play this game and you're not feeling like you are improving, it's okay. Um, when I started playing COD a long time ago, years back, I was horrible, horrible, horrible at COD and I just kept playing and playing and playing. And it's just like that for any game. The more you play, the more you improve. So it's all about just practicing I guess and adjusting your settings and your aim and stuff. Oh, and that just reminds me before I start the game. I'm gonna just show you my controller settings. So I have tactical flipped on my controller. So what that does um, with R3, which is this button right here, this button you click down on the controller, I just crouch with that instead of um, knifing. And then for my sensitivity, I have 6.5 um, and everything else is the same, I believe. So that's that. So we are playing free for all right now on shipment. We got Trump 2020 in the building, we got Chuckler in the building, and I'm going to go ahead and use, I don't know what gun to use, to be honest with you. I kind of want to use the P90, so I'm going to use the P90. And for games like Free For All, it's also about knowing where they spawn. Oh my god, I gotta reload and this guy's right here. Uh, oh wait, this game started already, like, what? Why'd it put me in a starting game like this? This is not fair at all. I hate that. It started me in a match. I hate it starting me in a match, dude. Oh, I was starting to get streaks. Alright, we'll play a new match. You see, lost stat prevented, join in progress. We're gonna start a new match right after this. Um, this wasn't really fair. This guy already had like so many kills. I got a 3kd though in that short amount of time. Let's go, I ain't complaining. But, um... I'm just gonna wait for a new match and another thing I wanted to address is a lot of people think that I'm I play claw or some people think that I play with a Cronus Max controller which I looked up because I had no idea what that was anyway and it turns out it's a modded controller they think I'm using a modded controller and I play with a regular controller I do not play claw um, I do have a battle beaver which I normally only use for Fortnite. I don't use this for COD though because the analog sticks here are uh, stiffer than the regular controller. And for COD, I'm not used to uh, those analog sticks, so I just play with this one just because it helps me aim better for some reason. <laughs> and I know it should be the other way around, like I should be able to aim better with this controller. But no, yeah, I, I'm just so used to playing with this one. So right now, as you guys can see, this is me playing with the remote for those people that think that I don't play because... Oh, I got the bad spawn. I absolutely hate spawning here. Ugh, I'm gonna get pinched. Okay. This guy's sitting in a corner. I knew he was gonna be there. He was starting to try to throw a C4 at me, but he failed. Oh my 
again. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Oh my god. No, I had to reload. <laughs> this guy is the one who always throws the C4s. Ay, ay, ay. It's a pretty close match right now. No, I just lost, dude. That was close. <laughs> that was a close game. I don't have any attachments for my MP7, which I totally forgot to do. I'm catching up. That's what I'm talking about, baby. We started off bad, we switched to the P90, and bam. Merc and everyone. G G's. There he is. Enemy cluster strike incoming. Take cover. <laughs> Enemy beach hole in the AO. <laughs> wow, I wonder whose um kill streak that is. And this guy's gonna camp up top now, too. Fudge, dude. Like, we're actually. When you camp in the top of the roof, you ain't going back up there, boy. Enemy UAV 
Does that kill me? What gun is he using? He like kills me one shot. Oh, an Enemy MP5. UAV Why are you shooting bodies? You mad for nothing? Like, what's going on? Why are we shooting bodies? Ha 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 ha. Lurks your ass. Enemy cruise missile coming. You killed me, but guess who won, Help baby? I got dripping the floor. It's getting nasty. He ain't keeping his hands. Oh my ass.